I'm going to show you how to do flowcharts using diagrams.net or draw.io. Let's go. So we go to diagrams.net. Net. And we can download it or we can just start. Let's go to start. And we can change the storage location. I'm going to go with my device, but you can save it to your Google Drive or wherever. And let's create a new diagram. There are plenty of flowchart options in the list here on the left. I'm just going to go with the basic one. Create. Ah, it wants to know where I want to save it. Right, so just give it a name. Okay, and it um, go away. And it brings this up as a demo or a template even. If you go down to the bottom here and you click on flowchart, you've got all the different flowchart symbols. So this isn't what we want. Let's get rid of that. So with the flowchart, we're going to start with a start symbol. We'll put that up there and we'll call it start. And then we can grab a directional connector. And we can connect that. Notice how it's actually now connected. And then our next thing might be a process, which is one of those. I don't like them that shape. They should be a little bit more rectangular. But that's easy fixed. Let me just put that wherever. Maybe make it a bit smaller. Connect that to that. So now they're connected. I can then bring that up. I'm just going to interrupt myself and say that later in this video I do find a far more efficient way of doing what I'm currently doing in the video. So maybe jump ahead to the two and a half minute mark if you kind of get the idea so far. Um, the method I'm using at the start is a little bit slow and tedious. Right, so then it is whatever the process is, I'll just write process. So you would write in what the process is. And let's just say you want to make a decision. Right, put that in connect that and then just making something up not happy or sad and then oh look at this I forgot this was on here oh these ones are much better than this one all right so this is good all right now we're talking now however when you do a decision you want to have a question an option so we want a text box here, and we're going to say, happy, double click, sad, alright, so there's your choices, happy or sad, and then if you're happy, smile, cry, and then, then we can go, still sad, if yes, uh, we're going to say, that'll be a yes no, won't it? Nope, not sad anymore. So if you're not sad, you can smile. And if you are still sad, then we are going to... This one, if I can somehow get that to go around here. There we go. And just move that down a little bit. Double click, text, and that's going to be... Yes, still sad. Okay, and then if we're here, so this just follows the thing. So we just keep crying until we're not like, until we're not sad anymore. And then we're, once we're smiling, we can come out here and do the next thing. Make that a decision. We'll get rid of that. Make that a decision. Um, and then whatever. Okay. And don't forget at the end to export your finished flowchart. This one's obviously not finished, but I'm just going to export that as maybe a picture. Uh, let's go with a PNG, they're pretty good quality. Don't need a transparent background. Don't want the grid to show, so I'll keep that on tick. Don't really want a shadow, that's fine. Export. And I'm going to save this one to my device, or I could do it to Google Drive, but device is fine. And that's downloaded there, and then I can insert that into my website or my slideshow or whatever it is I need to do. That's, that's Draw.io or um, otherwise known as Diagrams.net. Hope that was helpful and um, thanks for watching.